Today we're going to be talking a little bit more about night vision. I made some changes to my setup and I thought I'd bring you guys along for the ride as well as give you a look through this thing to show you exactly what it is that I did. Here is ye old helmet. <laughs> and I know that we've got what looks like arts and crafts day going on over here. You should see the rest of the table. It's an absolute mess, but just ignore that for now. Anyway, first things first, I wanted to talk about the ballast that we got going on here on the back. This is from SOE. It's a two chambered ballast here on this side, Velcro pouch. You can see that there are some batteries here and I really like to use the lithium batteries. However, this particular helmet, the way it balances, if I have alkali cells in this ballast, it feels really good as far as the weight distribution is concerned. So you can see that I've got a whole bunch of double A's, which is what the PVS-14 runs on. And then I ha also have a single CR-123 extra in there for my illuminator. And I've had the same CR-123 in my illuminator for six months now, and I've never had to change it. So an extra battery is probably enough. Anyway, put that back in there. And then over here would be your spot for your IR strobe or something like that. I have an additional power pack in here. Now the actual focus, that'll be funny here in a second, of this video. This is a focus cap, spelled P-H-O-K-U-S. <laughs> and the purpose of this thing is night vision has a very, very narrow field of view and you basically have to set the focus depth for whatever you're using it for, and that is basically where you can work. Everything else looks blurry. This thing is designed so it goes on the front, replaces the sacrificial window. We can have this thing zeroed out to infinity, and then throw this and be able to do stuff up close. So if you need to look at something up close in detail, look at a map, fumble with camera gear, etc. So we're just going to install this thing really quick and it's very simple. We're just going to take the old sacrificial window off and then this guy just slides in and we're going to set this thing up so that I can throw it. We're going to throw it this way because we can. It just slides right on, right like that. And then we just spin this ring here on the back ever so slightly, and that locks it into place. So now if I want to, I can just throw that open. We're at infinity, throw this close, and now we're up close. Now there's a few other accessories that come with it. These two guys, I don't think actually work with my night vision unit. I think that these are for some other device so that they will adapt. These are just rubber rings. I tried to do this and with a broken hand, I can't even get them all on. And then the last thing that we have here are three additional apertures. Basically depends on what you want to use it for. These snap in to this thing right here. So now that we've done that, I basically want to show you guys what it looks like. All right, guys, demonstrating the focus ring, I've got this thing set to infinity. So this area out here that you're seeing is in focus up until about right in here. So it gets a little bit blurry right here, but I can see detail all the way up here on the ridge. I can see basically individual branches on that tree, definitely individual branches on that tree. And I've got all this, right? However, if I look down, I've got my coffee mug sitting there. I can't see that at all. You know, I, I know what it says, I, but I can't read it. Now, if I fo throw the focus ring, I'm gonna look back up here, and I want you to pay attention to this tree, or that tree. Turn that off. Throw the focus ring, and I lose a fair amount of that. It's, it's not bad, but I can tell there's a tree there but I definitely lose some of this, lose a lot of that. I can see some of this, but I definitely lose all that as well. Now, if I look down, I can read that pretty easy. 
throwing the window again. Nothing. On. Now, I'm interested if with some now you'll notice that the the light signature is completely different we are backlit a little bit because there's a big light pole like way back there you can see that there's a lot of of um dial down from that that window so now i switch to a smaller aperture just to see how this affects the thing this is not the smallest one but this is the next two smallest one so you can see that the hill out there is in focus and if I close this cover I can't really see that at all I mean it's pretty dark however if I take a step back here that is in focus a couple feet away but I really can't see any of that but if I were to throw this yeah no chance see can we, let's see if we can find something small here we go you can read the so I, I can't quite be at at arm's length like I'm just if I lean forward then I can get there all right so I've put the smallest aperture on this thing let's see what happens oh it's dark But I can, obviously that, let's go back to the other truck here. Yeah. No, I don't think that that really helps as much. I mean, maybe, maybe, yeah, maybe it does. Yes, that definitely does. This is in the hand. Huh. Now if I flip this. Yeah, forget it. All right. That's what we're sticking with. Focus rings keeping the keeping the smallest aperture. Well, I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. You learned something about night vision. I know that I'm constantly learning and that's the whole reason that I'm doing videos on the topic is to help spread the knowledge around because I'm telling you, the information is not exactly free flowing on this stuff. I know that this is a couple videos in a row dealing in night vision as far as the last couple weeks are concerned, but I gotta be honest, I've got a broken hand and there's very little cool stuff that I can do with this gimp right here. So why not throw money at the problem, right? <laughs> Th thank you guys for joining us today. I hope that you guys enjoyed this video. And if you did, please share it around, help us beat the algorithm, leave a comment in the comment section down below, definitely helps out. And if you guys have ideas for stuff to do with night vision, then sound off in the comments as well and I'll see if I can get to it.